Stephanie back with another video. I have a tutorial today on how to make a glue gun holder. I'm going to be sharing with you all the materials you're going to need, all from the Dollar Tree. These are some of the board options that they have. So there's this size, which I think I'm going to go with. And there's a square one. They had various sizes. The next item is I picked up this four pack in the dishes aisle and they look like mini saucers. I also picked up a pack of clothes pegs. I picked up a paint and this is in cashmere tan. I picked up a pack of brushes. Next, you're going to need some glue sticks for your glue gun. And I'm just gonna heat this up in the meantime. And another good adhesive is E6000. First, what I'm gonna do is actually take all of the clothes pegs apart. So if you just twist it, the metal piece will come out. So just do a little twist. And there you go. Next, I'm going to apply a thin layer of glue to start my process of pegs. This is in order for it to not fall. So I'm going to put it a bit on a diagonal. So when this is in here, it will hold. Take your next layer of glue. And you're just going to keep repeating this process until you have a desired height. I like working with the glue gun a little bit better than the E6000 because then you don't have to wait for it to dry and you get an immediate hole. And this will be about, in total, six pegs, pieces. So that's only three pegs in total, once you break them in half. And then that's gonna sit in there like this and give it a bit of a hold. So we're gonna work on the next side and come back. Okay. So now once you see where you'd like to have your, your next pegs placed, just start there. Make sure I measure it again, and that will hold. And to reinforce it, you can always put the E6000 glue and that will definitely give it a maximum hold. And then you have your stand. Now we're gonna put some E6000 on the bottom of this after we paint it. Next, you're gonna grab your paint and start to work that in. So instead of the paint brushes, I chose to work with a sponge just because I know it would help the 
the wood the paint absorb into the wood a little better. I'm gonna make sure you get into all those cracks. And the paint is definitely optional. If you like the natural wood look, then you definitely leave it plain. And as you can see, the process is quick. And you're just gonna paint it and let it dry. Okay, I'm back and I allowed my paint to dry. Next, I'm gonna take my glue gun again and I'm gonna go around just the edges to give it an immediate hold. Okay. And then in the middle, I'm gonna apply a, a dot of E6000. That way, I'll get a maximum hold, but then that immediate hold. And then I'm gonna place it right at the edge. And as you can see, very quick and easy. And you have a glue gun holder. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give it a like subscribe to my channel.